Hello, for one of my previous videos where we had discussed the basic principles of voltage stabilizer like the way that we see here how the Bach boost operation takes place and there were uh, severe misunderstanding by one of the viewer which I thought I would clarify it uh, with this kind of arrangement better. Now let's take a DC situation here. See what we have, we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1.5 volt batteries and these batteries are all connected in positive, negative, positive, negative and you can call them in series and here we know how much voltage we will get here that is 1.5 into 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 that is about 7.5 volts. Here what we have done, we have reversed one of the batteries in this fashion that means positive goes to positive and this goes to here. So here what will happen? Let's see what will happen. Here when we operate this, we get 7.5 volt here but 4.5 volt here. That means only these three batteries are coming into picture and this battery and this battery is getting cancelled. So that is what the basic principle of DC when the voltage is added or when the voltage is subtracted. Now let us come back to the AC position. Here we have a transformer with a primary and secondary where when the primary is given, let us uh, switch off this uh, first. When the primary is given certain voltage, we, we find it is given 220 volts and it delivers 12 volts. And what happens that in the same principle when we connect uh, these are positive, negative are instantaneous values. That means half cycle values. If half cycle this side becomes positive and this side becomes negative, in the next half cycle this side becomes positive, this side becomes negative. It is all half cycle values. In, in AC there is nothing like positive and negative, but for each understanding purposes we are given here positive and negative. You can call it polarity or whatever it is. Now you see what is happening. This voltage is getting added to this voltage and we are getting 230 volts. How? You see this is negative, this is positive, positive goes to negative and then positive comes here. So this, this volt gets added to 30. It is actually like a auto transformer where we feed 220 volts here and primary is 220 volts, secondary is 12 volt AC and as we have seen positive negative we had connected, we had positive to negative we had connected here. And when we connect the same face and positive negative here and then we take from the positive we get 230 volts. So this is what is the boost function. Then what happens with the buck function? In the buck function same arrangement we have not changed anything everything remains same and this function what happens what we are done we are connected positive to positive. Please mind it they are not positive I, I, I told you repeatedly in AC it is never called positive negative in, in terms of polarity it is called. But then I thought I will be explaining it much better by giving it positive and negative uh, potentials. Uh, and then with, from the negative we have taken out. So what happened? This voltage minus this voltage and we get 208 volts. Same thing, it is an auto transformer function where the this voltage is connected here and then by it getting subtracted here and we get 280 volts. In actual engineering terms we call it in phase out of phase this and this voltage when they are getting added because they are in phase so that is why the voltage is getting added this and this same arrangement same same setup here the second region out of phase in series with the primary here the secondary is in phase with primary and that is how you get 232 volts here it is in out of phase that is why you get 208 volts I wanted to clarify this it's because uh, one of the viewer was extremely uh, adamant in speaking that he is correct, Buck is wrong, Boost is correct. So I thought I must clarify this so that uh, others will not be confused over this.